appearances on camera for fear of retaliation, but one woman agreed to speak with us if we didn't reveal her identity. Take a look. This neighbor says what happened in front of her home was terrifying. My husband and I were sitting at the patio and we saw two men who we thought were talking, but then they started shooting at each other. But police say 33-year-old Frederico Ricardo Garza was the only one doing the shooting. He does have prior history uh, in our city, uh, gang member activity, uh, violent crime, and uh, arrests. It happened Wednesday night on San Gabriel Circle. Police say 30-year-old Esther Lozano was driving Garza around when Garza spotted an acquaintance walking down the street. The suspect asked the victim for money, and this wasn't like a robbery or anything. It was just he asked him for some money, and the victim basically said no and walked away. And as he walked away, the suspect exited the vehicle and started shooting at him. Police say the 32-year-old victim was able to get away unharmed. The victim was shot at numerous times, but he was not hit. So he, he is physically okay, a little shaken, I would imagine, from being shot at, but uh, no physical injuries. Later that night, police found and arrested Garza and Lozano on San Joaquin Drive. Garza was booked on suspicion of attempted murder, and Lozano was arrested for being an accessory. As police continued their investigation, this is what they found inside Garza's home. They uh, located 17 uh, weapons in the home, as well as a large amount of ammunition. And so those were all seized. Uh, it turns out one of those weapons is uh, one of the weapons that was used in the shooting. Although people in the Dream Home neighborhood say they're glad these weapons were seized and Garza is off the streets, they say there's still too much violence going on in their community. My biggest concern is the safety of my children. I would like to see more police officers patrolling the area. Uh, victim is safe, suspects are in custody, weapons are off the street, and, you know, Cathedral City is a safer place. Although Garcia has been involved in gang activity, Cathedral City Police say this particular incident was not gang-related. Back to you. All right, thank you, Thalia.